Greetings and welcome to Florence Ballard A3060, home of the Hotpoint 9530A, Miele W562 washing machines and the greatest girl group of all time, the Supremes. Okay, so today we are looking at, an, well tonight actually, I mean we're looking at another steam iron. This one is a Morphe Richards Turbo Reflex 9000 model 42995. Um... Well, there's the serial number, 2002-3976. However, I think this is way too old to be looking for 2002. 2002 is that style of iron. Um, so that I could be wrong. But this looks like it could be 80s to me, or 90s. Um, so I'm not particularly sure what any of that is. Um, yeah, this is a... Quick overview of it. It's actually on a pivot stand. It's not a steam generator base as I thought. I've never seen anything like this. So look, cord comes out, and it continues out here and into this. It's got standard, your standard, I think, kite mark plug on it. So let's have a look. This is one that came brand new. Double lights there. Your water tank there see inside so that obviously comes on when the iron's plugged in and then that's the second light the heating light uh, the Morphe Richards has continued the uh, the tradition of the uh, the, whole, uh, the vents at the bottom although the other Morphe Richards I have doesn't have that actually um, here you have your very steam so from high to zero and that little slider water jet oh there is some water in there still <laughs> and steam button where you pour your water in there's no lid over it and you've got a nice aqua green well aqua blue turquoise on this side as well the vents continue around water tank well, uh, I think that would be where you'd wrap your cable around as well or where it grips this and then of course your and it all Yet again, another stainless steel one. That's where I did previously use it. Sorry if my voice is sounding bad. <coughs> <coughs> it's gone over, getting over a cold. Another one. Okay, so without further ado, let's get some mining done. So here we go, with uh, some casual trousers. Okay, I'm just going to zoom that in because that means it's plugged in. As I turn the temperature knob, you'll see that light below will come on. There you go, I don't fit, yeah. Now this, this temperature knob can just keep going round and round, it's a bit, a bit broken. And the first time I tried it, it did that. I don't know if you're going to see the water going into the bottom here. But I'll try. Make sure you can. There you go. So don't need too much in there. And enough. Okay, this one's on. Oh, uh, yes, that's meant to go out when it stops. So, you know, rest it on that. Really wish I could find that iron that I had when I was little. Okay, too much zoom. Just want to zoom in there to try and get it. Nothing happening. Gone out. Let's get ironing. Okay, so you can see cord comes up like that and then it's going across. Continuous steam. Very oh, very easy and lightweight to hold and it manoeuvres very easily. But you just have that cord tethering the iron to the base. I don't know what, what's smelling nice here. I don't know if it's this or the the iron. The iron's very clean, it said it was brand new. Okay, I'm gonna burn that. I think it has said it was stored away. It's just got some water. Yeah. Let it evaporate that. Try and see tilt it down a bit so you can see. There we go. There yeah, a bit more water there. Tilt that back. It's very hot. Let's get some steam out, shall we? 
This one jets out quite a bit of water when it does that. Yeah, but look. Well, I forgot to press it slowly then. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing I that does get annoying is that cord. Because it pulls the it pulls the iron around it does and it gets in the way of it. Apart from that though, it's can't complain. Oh, I might have I steamed up the lens. Damn I have. <laughs> I'm just trying to trying to get rid of all that water inside. It shoots that water far. I started here and it shot it over here. It's letting out a lot of it though. <laughs> so if anyone knows the uh, if anyone knows what year that that's from. Please do tell me because I'm trying to figure it out. If you're wondering why it's got marks on it already, yeah, I have test. I tested it as I said before, before we went to Australia, because I want. I was going to do as I said a combined video. So this is the second of three irons. Um, yeah, the next one is the Rowenta DA126. It doesn't sound like there's too much in there anyway. Well, nice, you get a nice effect though with this when you uh, spray the water over it. But it, it, it is overall quite a good iron. You know, it's, as I said, look, just by holding like that with two fingers, it very, very easily glides. Um, Said not many of my irons do that. It's another stainless steel sole plate, so it's great to expand on the stainless steel sole plate. Look at how quickly I can go with that. Yeah, let's get some more water out. More steam out. It's not there's not a self-cleaning function on this, sadly. But I guess that's what the steam blast does. It just I love doing that. So easy though to use. I like it. Oh! Oh, it makes that hot. <laughs> okay, nearly done. I hope, God, I'm not boring you a lot. If I am, as I said, you can always skip. Don't expect everyone to... Mmm, nice cloud. Smell whatever whatever detergent. I think it was Daz that I used in this, actually. Because I haven't worn this for so long. See it again. I lost wore this when I went to Mila. I went to experience and I wore this. What you're hearing is not it burning, it's it's just heating up all the okay, there we go. Whoa, that's my tripod going because one of the legs has gone a bit funny. It's um you know it, it's an aging tripod. This is it, the legs have come out on it. Or well, one of the legs has, so I've got to allow Anyway, there we are. So yeah, so uh, just catch you. Stay tuned for the next part, guys. I've got to give you an important update. So obviously, guys, if you've made it as far as this part, uh, you've obviously read the other part of the title, which also says there is also a special or important announcement to make. Right. So um, as you all know, I do uh, voluntary work at the British Art Foundation. Uh, which was in West Ealing, um, uh, test appliances and what uh, function testing, sort of customer service in a way, and I was also getting a lot of vintage appliances that weren't wanted or weren't to be sold, and they'd pass it on to me. Right, well, I've got to tell you something. That Bosch very perfect uh, WAE24462GB washing machine was tested. No, I have not got it downstairs because I certainly wouldn't be having one of those, I don't think, <laughs> when I'm not very fond of them. Uh, well, let's just say that that video I did there um, 
will in fact be the last video that's ever taken at British Art Foundation, aside from the compilations that I'm going to be doing soon, uh, top 10 so-and-so at British Art Foundation, or top 10 British Art Foundation moments, etc. Um, right, the reason I've got to tell you this, guys, because I don't want everyone asking all suddenly, or why is there no British Art Foundation videos? Well, it's nothing bad, it's actually something really, really good. Um, I am moving on now to my first ever paid job. Because, um, as you know, voluntary work means you just, you volunteer. You give up your time to work for free. Um, you just lend a helping hand. Um, it's the same work that, that uh, YouTube user Washer Crazy does, who had a washing with me, Joe Ag. He also does uh, tests at British Art Foundation. Um, obviously, he does, doesn't make full cycle clips like what I do, but he does he does the same thing I do. Um, Funnily enough, the next place where he, the other place where he does voluntary work is where I am now moving on to. I'm not going to reveal where I'm working at because it's for my own safety so that people don't start trying to come into the, you know, don't come in. But I'm going to tell you what company I'm going to be working for. Um, I'm going to be a garden centre assistant at a Yvale Garden Centre, which is... Uh, uh, the garden centre that I filmed in Ostley, you remember the one I, sh I showed you, I went round, I was looking at the Powermatic fans and we were, yeah, it was back in August that I did that. Um, that was actually a week before I heard my sad, sadly negative results from Mila. Um, but this is what I'm doing, getting a customer service job, because that's what I lacked at my interview in Mila, which I wasn't made aware of at the time, but as I said, you know, I'm happy to be doing this, taking a step. Um, so yeah, and we're going to pay a job. Uh, and we're doing 30 hours a week. Uh, the job was actually advertised as eight, as only as only eight hours. But because I told them that I'm free all the time, really, apart from the six till nine a.m. slot, which obviously is quite a lot for me to do um, in the morning. But from the other ones, they open from eight till six, like like most of the Wyville Garden Centres do. Um, there, I am going to just be yeah. I, do, I will, um, you know, it's eight hours a week. I'm going to be doing 10 till 4 p.m. Um, and I will be doing Sunday to Thursday. So um, there will be some days where you won't probably get some videos. You won't have as much videos because of the British Art Foundation. It doesn't mean that appliances are going to stop. It just means that, um, obviously, I don't get things for free anymore. I have to pay. And no, I will not be taking any videos while I am at, Wyville Garden Centre because well you know I could just could lose my job doing that if they don't know what I'm doing you know what I mean there's some stuff that not meant to be videoed and whatnot as I said you've seen the inside of, of the garden centre so <coughs> there's nothing else really the only other thing to film would be starting up the Powermatic heaters and as I said it's not really anything exciting probably it's probably already started by the time I get in there anyway though um because it opens at well, opens at 8, but some of the jobs involve you to be there at 6am, so they probably get you to start it up then. Um, but as I said, um, it just means that I'll be buying appliances now. Uh, this week, as a number of sites, before I continue about anything else, but as I say, it's, it's a big step forward. It's my first ever pay job, and I'm really looking forward to getting those wages because we're saving up for something this year. Uh, in June, uh, June, I'll be going on June the 8th and coming back June the 12th. I'm going to be going to Detroit uh, because there is a... Rhythm and Blues Hall of Fame ceremony. Uh, Mary Wells, First Lady of Motown, is being inducted into the Rhythm and Blues Hall of Fame. It's a ceremony run by my auntie, as I call her, Patricia Sweepy Washington. So if you're all coming along, anyone's going to come along and see that, come along. Um, it'll be my first holiday alone. So in Detroit, of all places, I know, because I know Detroit's got a pretty bad reputation. But I get to see a lot of things. Florence Ballard's grave, her house, and everything. The Motown Museum... I need to check out a few laundromats while I'm there. Um, and I'll be hoping to try and fly with an Air Canada, 7, Air Canada 777, sort of Delta 767 or whatnot. Um, or whatever, uh, Virgin Atlantic 787 probably. Anyway, but as I said, that's um, that's what I was ironing the trousers for, because I start tomorrow. Um, it's just this week I was told to come in on Monday, but then next week starts from Sunday. So you will have to understand, guys, that sometimes I probably won't be able to do a lot of videos. But this week coming, we've got my um, Vax 6131T Multivax 3-in-1 wet and dry vacuum cleaner to demonstrate. And we've also on Wednesday, uh, the 22nd of February, which is Florence Ballard's 
first death anniversary. I know last year we did the 40 years and I did Remembering Florence Ballard 40 years video, which a lot of people still do like. Uh, we'll be doing a solo video of the Hot Point 9530, and that'll be Program 1, 85 degrees Celsius white cotton without pre-wash, and that's going to be a large load of towels. Because on the very first video of that machine, I did uh, videos of towels, but with a pre-wash. Um, so I'll be doing that throughout the year. Hopefully with the money I get from working at Wyvel Garden Centre, I can hopefully rent out a garage at the back of this house, and I can get a collection going. Uh, hopefully by the end of this year, hopefully, as I said, if I'm not successful with Mila, we just keep going. As I said, the, the, the big dream that I'm aiming for is to get out of England and I'm going to move to California. I want to go to California or Detroit if I'm able to get older Florence Ballard's old house. But if that's not possible, then California, Long Beach, California is where I want to move. Because California is about the beach boys. Uh, and that's you know it's it's a, it's a very nice place down south, um, so yeah. Anyway, guys, I said thought I'd just let everyone know about that. Um, I said, <coughs> <coughs> it's a much much nicer announcement to be making than what I had to do for Australia. Um, as I said, I'll, tomorrow when I do the Rowenta Iron, I'll let you know how my first day goes, and I say I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so yeah. I, I hope you all, uh, you know, I so said, wish me luck. <laughs> um, you don't have to if you don't want to. <laughs> so, yeah, apparently I've been told it's going to be a very messy job working at Garden Centre. Six hours, but you know what? That'll, bloody hell, that'll go quick. Because it's something that I really want to I really will enjoy doing. Um, but what I could do is I could do cycling videos because I'll be cycling there and everything. So, you never know. So, anyway, guys, I uh, hope you all enjoyed that. And... There's going to be a change in the intro after the Rowenta video uh, because it's the start of a new, a new, you know, new beginning. I'm work moving on to a paid job, so British Heart Foundation's out of the question now. Um, the new intro is not going to be the Supremes. It's going to be another group that I like called Martha Reeves and the Vandellas. I'm sure everyone who's a Motown fan knows of this group. Consisting of Martha Reeves, Betty Kelly, and Rosalind Ashford. Yeah, Rosalind Ashford. Uh, actually, I've got some of I've got some of them actually, but unfortunately, I probably might not be able to get it out. Where are they? Yes, we are. Here they are, Martha Reeves and the Vandellas. And I only just found out today that that's Martha Reeves. I thought that was her. Shame. No, not a shame actually, because I quite like them. So I might have uh, Nowhere to Run. The other one that goes, um, you know, Nowhere to Run to Baby. I might have that as my intro. So, um, and I'm, or if I didn't use Marthries and the Vandellas, if I, because I test these things out before I do, and if I don't think that's good, it will be another thing of the Supremes. Um, or Mary Wells, my guy, but well, no, Mary Wells, I'm going to do that for when I go to Detroit, that week of going to Detroit, I'm going to change it all to Mary Wells, because I'm going to do vlogs while I'm out there, and I'm going to ask if I have permission to, like, put some, like, you know, pictures on YouTube and everything in my video, um, but if not, yeah, it'll be a Song of the Supremes, which I hope you'll like, um, I want to do the old intro that I used to do, you know, like, when I first started out, as uh, when I was called Love the Supremes, uh, before I became Florence Ballard A3060 and I did a very short intro which lasted about 10 seconds and it just had this, the, a, a title page with all different pictures of what I have on my channel rather than showing it all in the video and or having the Supremes performing something. Um, I'd like to do that, what I used to do, and then it would then it would go on to a, a picture of what the video was about. Like if it was about an iron, have a picture of the iron. If it's about a washing machine, have a picture of the washing machine or the, the logo of the company, that the, the manufacturer. Um, and then it would just describe it. And that was like when I had It's All Your Fault version two and three on there. So I might just do that again because I, I preferred that generally. So, and yeah, uh, let me know, you know if, if you guys enjoyed that. Uh, so I've just had a shave, so I'm bloody neck itching and everything anyway guys i'm gonna i'm gonna say good night then and because i will need to be going to bed early to be up so wish me the best of luck and uh thank you for your, all your support your enthusiasm you know through british art foundation videos and you know a lot of you loved the stuff i did i even did requests once or twice for someone who wanted to see it 
and bloody hell the British Heart Foundation got on me some good things. I mean, the best thing ever, it got me the Hotpoint 9530. Because I, I, I didn't care about the next generations, but when I found that, I was like, oh, I've got to save this. And I got it for free, and it works absolutely perfect. It's not, by far, it's not the model that I wanted. I actually wanted a 95470, but unfortunately I won't be finding one of those for a very long time. But anyway, I said beggars can't be choosers. So anyway, um, I'm going to say, say goodnight. And uh, don't forget, keep it supreme and go with the flow.